right here. I'll be there. What? I have no gun yet, Bobby. I just got shot on. That guy almost took you out. Bobby, you side to a hacker, 100%. 100% you side to a hacker. Oh, uh, 100%. Hacker. Percent. I just saw the kill yeah, cam. So, or, oh, wait, so what do we do? Uh, it's. It's 0-0, zero, zero, dude. It's, it's down <laughs> 4 again. 100% hacker. Cheating, bro. God fucking damn you, Activision! You greedy motherfuckers! I'm trying to make a fucking living here, and you fucking greedy corporate fucks can suck on my fucking 18 inch cock! Two games in a row, I'm trying to make a fucking living here! Two goddamn games in a row, dude! You greedy motherfuckers, dude! Fuck you guys! Fuck you guys, dude! Seriously! Fuck Activision, dude! You guys are fucking bullshit, dude! You greedy motherfuckers, dude! You guys are fucking dog shit, dude! I cannot believe that! Two fucking games in a row, Activision! I'm trying to do my goddamn job! Why don't you fucking invest some money for fuck's sake? Two games in a row! In the biggest fucking tournament, you guys are okay, fucking stupid. Oh my God, Activision, you greedy corporate motherfuckers, dude! You don't know how to run a goddamn game. Fuck you guys, dude! Fucking bullshit, dude! I have to deal with this shit for 15 hours a day. Fuck you guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is what it dude. sounds like to lose your cool over Warzone. I want to give some more context about this clip and talk about the state of gaming in general. Because right now, this whole crazy scenario about Bobby here with Warzone losing a shot at $25,000 is one of the most important issues, I believe, right now in Call of Duty and absolutely in Warzone as well. So, boys let's get into this i want to talk about this one of the craziest aspects of warzone right now is that most games especially games that i hop into right now are filled to the brim with hackers and the fact that bobby during his twenty-five thousand dollar tournament has not only ran into one hacker but also two and to the point that it actually causes him to lose his cool like that absolutely astounds me and i wanted to make a commentary video just talking about the level of craziness that activision has to have to not be able to appeal to hackers to not even to have easy anti-cheat onto warzone to combat these aimbotters to combat the esps and it's honestly driving content creators like this crazy I know Activision has also been neglecting a lot of other Call of Duty YouTubers in other aspects and in other avenues of Call of Duty such as with Cold War and its development and has gone to the point that it has driven people insane like Bobby where at when $25,000 is on the line and you lose your shot simply because of something that is completely out of your possibility you can't do anything to fix it I can completely understand why Bobby is going crazy like this and it kind of makes me wonder what is the future of Warzone. I know the numbers right now have been dwindling and not many people have been enjoying the game as of late just because of the rise of these hackers. And it's really strad because these hackers, this is not a new thing whatsoever. These hackers have been in these lobbies ever since like a year ago ever since like warzone has really started the hackers have gotten absolutely out of hand and it makes a lot of people when they play warzone completely turn off crossplay altogether and it makes you wonder like what is even happening activision is a billion dollar corporate corporation here we're playing warzone every single day and yet these hackers are still prevalent there's barely any reporting systems there's barely any features Features that can get Call of Duty players out of this whole garbage scenario and the fact that it has led up to something like this it completely astounds me and that's why I gotta wonder if Activision will even do anything at the end of the day we know that the all agenda is about making money and stuff and it's crazy to me that someone like Bobby who was even invited out to the cold Call of Duty Cold War events and he was invited out uh, to play Cold War early with a multiplayer and all that stuff 
that even him, someone that was on Activision's good side, would come out and openly say all of this absolute truth at the end of the day uh, towards Activision, regardless of if it was crazy or if it was overly bearing. But I think this is a very important step, and I believe that in 2021, if we do not see major changes to Warzone, especially just with the anti-cheat of the game, I think this is a very crucial step because of the game that we will be losing players, we will be losing eyes, we will be losing audience members, and this is something that I think Call of Duty really needs to fix. They really need to appeal to this, or else Warzone will be losing a massive majority of its player base from here on out. I think it really just starts here. When you see it in the tournaments, when you see it in the competitive scenes, that this problem will still be as prevalent as it was with Bobby, I think that is going to be a massive issue. It makes me wonder, like, how are they even going to combat this? Like, anything that they added to Warzone right now just seems menial to the point that you can just lose to a hacker instantly. And it makes me wonder, like, why are YouTubers tar able to be targeted so easily? Is it just because of, like, the 150 player lobbies that Warzone has where people can stream snipe very easily? Easily. And I found even when I was playing my 100 games of Warzone and like, you know, I'm not even as major profile as Bobby who plays Warzone consistently every day was just getting stream sniped completely on Warzone. It feels like it's like an easy thing to do because of the fact that like, again, you can switch your server, you can get onto somebody's server and, and find them quite interestingly, quite easily. Like you just got to be on either US West or US East and see how it goes. And honestly, I really hope that that Activision can come through and combat this because like I said if they don't the serious repercussions are going to be the loss of the Warzone player base and also the Cold War player base with zombies because you know zombies right now I feel like has kind of been put on the back burner for Warzone and to see it being treated like this makes me very scared to even wonder how zombies is going to be treated at the end zombies has had some awesome cool new information for those of you guys that have been wondering what is going to be happening with it there's like a new boss right now in the fire bay z map that's been teased and he's gonna have this like crazy ability that's like prop hunt where he can blend into the environment and pop out a jump scare you i'm so excited to see it but it just makes me sad because it's like people are cheating in zombies people are cheating in warzone like how low can the call of duty community go until activision and trick somehow fixes this absolute mess that we are in right now i really don't know but ladies and gentlemen let me know if you guys would like more videos like this bobby i hope you are doing better my friend and i hope that you are able to take a break after all of this craziness uh but ladies and gentlemen that is going to be it for today's video i did hope you guys enjoy if you did please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all ladies and gentlemen in that next one